In this video we're going to take a look at creating a Christmas greeting card but it's going to be a minimalistic style and we're going to be using parts. But before we start off what we need to do is actually sort of define ourselves. We need to create a brush and I thought of creating one sort of using a bauble. This is a Christmas tree I used or Christmas card I used previously should I say. Basically what I've done, he said before he ties himself in too much of a knot, is I've made a selection of this Christmas bauble here. There it is, copied it to a new layer. So there it is on top. We're going to come over. We're simply going to go to edit. We're going to drop down to define brush preset. It's asking us for a name. I'm going to call this Christmas ball and press enter or return to apply it. So this has now become defined as a brush preset. Right, we can close this down. Don't save, thank you very much. Next we're going to go to File, we're going to go to New, we're going to create ourselves a new canvas. I'm creating this one 1024 by 768. You can create it whatever size you want. The resolution is 72 because I'm going to be using this for web use and it's going to be the background colour which is going to be white. Click OK to that and it goes. We're going to change this colour though coming across. I'm going to click on the gradient tool here. So selecting the gradient tool, we're going to come up and pick up the linear gradient. That's the first linear or the first little gradient tool in. Clicking in the window, selecting uh, this one here. It looks pretty good, the plum through to orange. But I want the plum, this color here, to be a little bit more sort of uh, balanced. I want to bring this, click on the slider, bring it across so it goes midway, something like that looks pretty good click OK to that. Bringing the cursor over to the right hand side, this is going to put the plum over this side coming then through to the orange. We're going to click down, drag it across. Hopefully this is going to go roughly midway now with the plum. That looks pretty good. Like that. Job nearly done. That was the easy part. <laughs> now for the slightly more interesting side, and I, this, I must be honest, it really is. It's a great way of working and you get some pretty cool effects as we're doing it. So let's take a look. We're going to put in a new empty layer. First things first, we're going to make a sort of a little bit of a template for our Christmas tree. So picking up the polygonal lasso coming in, we're going to click down. We're going to give ourselves a triangle, given the shape for our Christmas tree. So coming across like that and coming up and so, yep, that is our triangle. It's a selection. We need to change this selection now to a path. Now to do that, we're going to go to the paths panel. If you haven't already got it showing, if you go to Window, drop down, there it is, Paths. It's the little icon in the bottom here. It looks a bit like a chain going over a gear cog. Click on that and it'll change it from a selection to a work path. Right, the next thing we're going to do is come across. We're going to pick up a brush. We're going to right click. There's our Christmas ball has arrived. But what we're going to do though, you can see it's right down the bottom there. So it's actually coming into position. I'm going to come up to this one here. Now, if I just click off a second, come to right to the top. If I right click again, click on this little arrow, dropping down, it's the light effect brushes. That's the one I'm using at the moment. It's the light effect brushes. This is going to give me this little sort of star shape to start off. There it is. If we click on this, brings up the major brush panel. There it is. We can make this now a little bit bigger again to that sort of size. There looks pretty good. We're working under the brush tip shape. Come into spacing, taking the spacing out like that, and increase the space into sort of that sort of area. That would be pretty good. Next, we're going to press X on the keyboard, so we've got white as our foreground color. The next job is to come up, and we're going to click on this black arrow. The black arrow here is the path selection tool. So with the path selection tool, come over onto our path, right click, and we're going to click on stroke path, brush, and we're going to click OK. Make sure simulated pressure is off and through it goes. Next, coming back to our brush, coming back to the angle here, we're going to click on the angle, dropping the arrow down. We want these sort of the stars now to go north to south, east to west, that sort of thing like that looks pretty good. Leave the settings as they are, clicking once again on this black arrow, right clicking, we're going to choose once again stroke path. Clicking OK to that. Through they go. So we've now created stars right the way around our Christmas tree. This is going to be the outside of our Christmas tree. Next thing we're going to do is click on this icon here to put in a new work path. Work path number 
two. Number one. Well, it would be number two. Cause if it, right. Coming across, clicking on the uh, pen. That put me off there. We're going to click on the pencil. Clicking on the second little button in. Coming across to the second panel across. Clicking on the first button. So we've got these two pressed in here. Coming to the top of our start on our Christmas tree. We're going to click down, dropping down vertically to this position here. Clicking down again. And if you drag it out, you'll notice the way you can bend it out. Something like that would be pretty good. Dropping down roughly the same sort of distance, clicking down, dragging it out again. Something like that would be pretty good. Dropping down, clicking it out, bending it out to the other side would be pretty useful like that. Again, bringing it out like this. You can tell the concentration, can't you? Coming down to the bottom one, dragging it out. Right. Great stuff. Picking up our brush tool. Coming in, taking a look. There's our Christmas ball. There it is there. Bringing the spacing up like this. Give me roughly about 150%. That's a bit on the big side. So we're going to drop it down in size to something more of a manageable size. Something like that would be pretty good. That looks good there. Just moving the direction there to the top of the ball is straight. <laughs> Clicking on the white brings up our color picker. We're going to go for a nice yellow. I suppose that's as opposed to not a nice yellow, but there it is there. That looks a pretty nice yellow. There's our yellow. There's our Christmas ball. I'm going to click as well onto wet edges. I just like the effect this gives. Once again, we're going to click on the black arrow. There it is, our path selection tool. Right click in. We're going to come down to stroke path. This time, simulate pressure. Don't forget we got the brush selected there from the drop down menu. We're going to click OK through it goes. Now using Control Z it allows you to undo it because the deliberate mistake I made is if we just come back to the brush what I didn't do was shape dynamics here I, to remember and this is the reason for me showing you this again remember to switch the shape dynamics on you can now see they go from small to large back to small right picking up our black arrow right click in stroke path simulate pressure click OK that looks better. Job nearly done. Once again, clicking on a new path. There it is. There is our path two finally arrived. Picking up our pen tool yet again. Clicking on the star. Dropping down to just the, on top of the first set of balls there on the vertical. Bringing it out in the opposite direction. Just roughly meeting the sort of the radius of that curve there. Bringing that out again just over the edge like this with that one, bringing that out just slightly over the edge like that. Coming down to this one here, bringing that one out like this, and finally down to the bottom and bringing the bottom out over the edge. You get the idea. Job done. Right, so click in. We're going to change the color. Now we're going to go for a sort of bit of a magenta -y color like that would be pretty good. Click OK to that. There's our brush. There's our bauble, bauble, ball, Christmas ball, your gloss thing, whatever it's called. Just taking the size, the spacing up on that a little bit more, I think, would be pretty good. Clicking back onto our path selection tool, right clicking, stroke path, simulate pressure, click OK, through it goes, job done. So there it is, there's our Christmas tree. We've created this. We can actually now come into this and we can just sort of grab hold of these. We can actually delete the paths. We don't need these anymore. So they're now gone. If we come to our layers, you can see it's all on the new empty layer here. This allows us to click on the effects icon. We're going to go for outer glow. With the outer glow, there it is. Somebody's just switched the lights on our Christmas tree. You can see the way that sort of, you know, gives it a bit more of a glow. That looks pretty good like that. The size we can take up a little bit as well. Worth clicking on drop shadow. I know what you're thinking, drop shadow, yes doesn't look particularly good with black. We can change the color to white, but don't forget this is multiply blend mode, so we now need to change this to normal, and you can bring this out, and you can see there it is like that, so just placing it behind. It's a little bit like the outer glow, but it just allows us to come in and change that. You might want to change it to perhaps even a nice yellow, as opposed to not a nice yellow. Never quite worked that one out, but there you go. Job done. I like the look of that. Click OK. They've gone in now as an adjustment layer, a layer style, should I say.
Right, all that remains to be done now is to press the D on the keyboard for the default colours, X to put white as the foreground, picking up the text or the type tool, clicking down, I've selected my font already, I'm going to put in new all, a bet you can't guess, Merry Christmas. There you go, job just about done. At the moment it is still showing as being layer 2. However, click on the T, we have now committed it. You'll see it's now saying wishing you all. The other thing you can do with this now is if you just double click on it, you've highlighted it, press Command or Control, we can drag this down so we can make this look even larger without just changing the font size. You notice it changed up in the window there. That looks pretty good. The other thing is if you double click on it, if you right click, you can check the spelling. Pretty good. I even spelled it right. So there it is. There's our Christmas message. Come down as well. You might just want to put in a drop shadow with this just to make it stand out a little bit more. Perhaps something like that could be pretty good. Just reducing the opacity down. There it is job done. There's our minimalistic Christmas tree effect using paths. This is wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for viewing, viewing the video and until the next time it's happy imaging and take care.